I think we should take the development out of China very, very seriously. DeepSeek, which is the leading Chinese AI lab, their model uh, is actually the top performing or roughly on par with the best American models. What DeepSeek has now done here in Silicon Valley is it's opened our eyes to what you can actually accomplish. Release of DeepSeek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake up call. Hello, I'm coming to you from Beijing from in front of DeepSeek's uh, offices here. Now, I'm just back from a reporting trip in Hangzhou, just in China's east, uh, south from here. Been down there to see DeepSeek's actual headquarters, its secretive headquarters, where the company was founded, and also to speak to other companies in the Hangzhou tech sector. Look, it's become a real hub recently. It's earned the name China's Silicon Valley, and that's a lot to do with local officials who are unusually supportive of private enterprise within China. And also, it's to do with Jack Ma's Alibaba being based there. It's been a really important investor in a lot of other tech companies down there. And the third really important ingredient is a university, Zhejiang University, which is based there and has modeled itself into something like China's Stanford University, really reaching out and encouraging its students to get involved in starting businesses and seeing how it can collaborate with them. There's now a new wave of tech companies called the Six Little Dragons. Deep Seek's one of them. There's a host of others, including Deep Robotics, which I went and saw uh, during my trip down there. They make robo dogs that do backflips and carry things, carry off coffees and offices and can be used in emergency and rescue operations. The bottom line is our inference cost is 10 cents per million tokens. And that's a one thirtieth of what the typical comparable model charges. And where's it going? Is well, the 10 cents would lead to building apps for much lower cost. So if you wanted to build a U.com or Perplexity or some other app, you can either pay OpenAI $4.40 per million tokens, or if you have our model, it costs you just 10 cents. Now, all the success in China's tech industry, uh, it's, it's been great for investors. The Hong Kong tech exchange is up almost 40% this year, but it's caused a lot of unease in Washington. They've spent almost six years through the Trump administration and then the Biden administration, and now in the Trump administration again, imposing a whole bunch of restrictions to try to contain China's technological advance. Well, the takeout from the trip in Hangzhou is they think it's counterproductive. They say that restrictions only encourage China to innovate further. Now, we'll find out in the years ahead if that's true, but for now, the team at DeepSeek up here are working really hard to prove the Americans can't contain China.